This is a video on utilizing the log files in the ANSYS License Manager for diagnosing uh, licensing problems. So in the ANSYS License Manager, uh, there are three log files that you can view from the user interface. Uh, you can view the licensing interconnect log, which displays all the actions that the licensing interconnect has taken since startup. When you started up the ANSYS License Manager, it will log all the actions that are done uh, by the licensing interconnect, meaning licenses that are checked in and checked out when clients were exited, etc. Moving on to the FlexNet debug log. Uh, the FlexNet debug log contains messages on the status configuration issues or errors associated with FlexNet components of the uh, license manager. So this can happen if you have an issue with the FlexNet component of your license manager, meaning that here you can see that the interconnect and the interconnect monitors are running, and occasionally you may run into an issue where the FlexNet licensing is not running. This is a common issue if the FlexNet port is being utilized by another application uh, and the FlexNet component of the license manager is not able to run. Going to the debug log, uh, you would be able to see that it would tell you that the port was in use, as an example. Lastly, the license management center log are all the actions done on the a license manager, such as when you add a new license or rereading the license manager settings or even generating diagnostic logs. Basically, uh, any options that you're done on the license manager will be logged here. Uh, so you can view the history of potentially what maybe might have been changed uh, on the license manager. Now, if you do come across errors in uh, any of these logs, you can look them up in the ANSYS licensing guide. So under help, you can view the ANSYS licensing guide and let's just bring you to the table of contents. So down into troubleshooting, Uh, you can look up the certain error messages that come up um, in these logs and refer to them and potentially figure out what is causing this specific issue. And that's how you use the log files in your ANSYS license manager to help uh, diagnose licensing problems. You can also gather diagnostic information uh, here, so you would save that to a file. Generally, if you contact CMU Tech Support and we ask you for the license manager diagnostic logs, this is where you gather them, and this actually pulls in uh, all the log data as well into one file and that's also how we help diagnose uh, any licensing issues that you may run into. All right, and that's the uh, end of this topic regarding log files for ANSYS licensing. Thank you.